deep in our soul. This teaching is the teaching of a lineage, teaching of the wisdom and the compassion lineage teaching. Therefore, devotion is honoring, respecting, and at the same time, gradually receiving that. That, and therefore, this prayer is so special, so beautiful. And do those prayers with the Bodhicitta thought, as in the teaching said, strongly feel great joy. Every this is also practice. It's not practice of sad and suffering and frightening and threatening things. It is celebration of joy, appreciation, what we are, what we have, what we got. That is what practice and making beauty ourselves. One of the beautiful glowing for our soul that we can glow now and glow continually to the future. Future. That is what I want to practice. And there we feel joy and appreciation. All those beautiful instructions. Really so special, all this. This. Do those thoughts. And then meditate. Then meditate with those tiny information and merge as in the teachings. And merge everything into the one single state of the whole mind. Even the joy and appreciation, all that with the kind of looks like out, but it's all generated, reflected, emanated from your Buddha mind. This is a display of the Dharmakaya, call it, the Sambhokaya, call it, went out and bought all every beautiful and blended that in, and now we merged it back to the, our own awareness status, Chukhu Rupa, or the Dharmakaya mind status. And now we're going to behold Dharmakaya. And Dharma by mind, mentioned so many times in teaching, there's nothing to see, nothing to hold, <coughs> nothing to grasp. Simply relax. Relax and reflect. Not too much, maybe reflect. Relax. <laughs> relax. Relax on the present state. Relax on the present state. <coughs> and don't try to be, let it be the it was called mindfulness. Support the mindfulness so that we can stabilize. There is one great master, or not one great master, I mean it is a great master, very low keepers, low keeper, meditate. It's not master, they announce and teaching some, but meditate, good meditate. He said one time, I heard that's talking that with some other those low key good practitioners, they're talking. They're talking. But this, this master said, when you meditate, what do we need? Stable mind. Stabilize the mind. Stable meditate, he said. Aho, in this colloquial, our area, Aho means, Aho means my brother, I think. is colloquial. Aho. First, the meditation is so important. To stable, stable. Firmness of stable is so important. Once it's stable, then he said, oh, what is this? We need more peaceful, calm. So it's not forceful, forceful, but calm needed. Then he said, another thing is, we need so calm, but need? Need a little clarity. So that means firm, peaceful or gentle, and clarity. That's what really we need. When we be holding, the Dharmakaya Rupa. That's what we need. Firm, gentle, and clarity. Uh, what also that means, actually, is this is the experience of speech. Experience, of course, all this experience. But this is very low key. Unannounced great masters. Speech, it's own experience. Firmness is very important. If it's not firm, then so many distractions, conceptions are disturbing our meditation continually. There's so many thoughts are coming one after another, and even you hold, behold the Dharmakaya mind for a few seconds, it's kind of blown away all the turbulence of the conceptions. And that's what the great master Papa Ramayi said in Saksam Nevdi. Saksam Nevdi, what he said? He said, Triple the balance of means that there is diluted conceptions are roaring as like waves. Waves.
waves, like raging waves. What's called in sometimes in Florida oceans? She said, today ocean is calm, means less, less waves. Today ocean is very rough. And so this consumption, deluded consumption, so rough, the waves are so rough. And then there's no stabilization. Dharmakaya, beholding the Dharmakaya, is instantly blowed, instantly interrupted. Therefore, stabilization, firmness is so important. But then, this again, this second what he said, gentle. Many times, the meditators, we make so much effort, become so tense, so tense, so effort, and that is almost any really kind of system is balanced of this almost the kind of lost. System so make big effort, forceful and tight. That is not him. Relax, gentle, calm, the strength. Strength is there, but calm and gentle and peaceful. That is what we need. So for that reason, this great Pratakin said, the gentle is important. When it is too much gentle and too stable, when it is too much gentle, then what it brings? Then it brings drowsiness. Then it brings dullness. Then it can really lead that meditation in an almost a kind of ignorant status, darkness status. For that reason, this experienced master or practitioner says, let it clarity. If you put letter at clarity, at, to the gentle, to the faith, then behold the Dharmakaya is just that's what the Dharmakaya is. Then Dharmakaya is firm, Dharmakaya is gentle, and Dharmakaya is clarity. And that's what we need to state. And for that reason here, Great Master um, also, uh, His Holy said here, said, having thus cut the prom within the, all the doubt and misconception about the view, uh, uh, the view continually is called meditation. If, if apart from this, all meditation will target are intellectual meditation. Devised by the thought, we do not like that. Without a strain from the firmness of the view, we remain free, releasing all the perceptions of the five senses, dwell in their natural states. Do not meditate thinking, or do not thinking that I'm meditating. This is it. If you meditate with this, uh, 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 this is it. If you meditate, that is the intellect. Therefore, nothing to be meditated upon. Do not let yourself be distracted even for the instant. That means firmness. Firmness. But that means also what we need. We need mindfulness. In order to make the little what? But also not mindful too much. That will again make too tense. Tense. If you wonder at the dwelling in the early self, that is really why the Mukhono Yon, Topochi the Shari Shari Teji is a Mundrain. So therefore, here, I mean, so we, when we meditate, relaxing that natural status, we're thinking if we're going to meditate this and that. Thinking, and that is, as in the teaching said, that is intellectual mind, meditation. That is thinking meditation. Thinking meditation is consumption. And therefore, this time, we are going to release the consumption. For that reason, we are going to continually behold in the, our view of Dharmakaya and stay in that status. Stay in that status. Not thinking this and that, but relax and be in that prison status. <coughs> prison status. And relax all the also senses. Sit, sit. So therefore, we're not going to follow the, any the image or the message that comes from the senses. Anything there. And we could follow with that, then it distracted. 
from the present state of the view of the Dharmakaya mind. And for that re reason, we relax in the natural status. As thought comes, we are not going to block in the senses too, no. As sense comes, we let it come, let it go. As it is coming, add, let it go. That is known as then liberating instantly. Liberating instantly its own natural status. Status. So this is, is the again, this is the way we are going to meditate. Meditate.